Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... I got a nice, simple myth for you. It works. One, wait for everyone to get to the fountain. Two, giggle behind Koharu Hinata, green pigtails. Senpai should look over. Three, wait for him to sit back down and get close to him. Four, you can get near Senpai and he won't call you out either. Five, if you kill someone in front of him, you won't get a game over screen too. Okay, I've actually never heard of this one before, so I'm excited to do it because I want to kill somebody in front of Senpai, and I don't want him to do diddly shit, so I got my knife in my inventory. We're gonna giggle a little bit. There you go. Senpai notices, and he's pulling the book straight out of his bunghole. Sat back down, and he won't detect me when I'm near him. So I do still have the pink aura. I kind of thought that the pink aura goes away. But he's not detecting me, so I get what you mean now. So he's not detecting me. That's good. And you also said if I kill someone in front of him, you won't get a game over screen too. Okay, so let's try that. We got our knife right here. Senpai's right in front of us. Let me see if the thing still works. Okay, he's not detecting me. Because if you stand in front of him, he'll detect you eventually. But we're right in front of him. Got the knife. Boob. Life. Boob. Bam! What? It says if you kill someone in front of him, you won't get a game over screen too. Do I have to giggle behind Kuharu again? This time I'm gonna get the knife first, and then I'll do the whole thing. Because I guess the glitch activates, and maybe if I teleport, it deactivates. I have no idea, but I tried killing somebody in front of Senpai, and he noticed my candy ass right away. So, let's fast forward time again. And just so you guys know what I'm talking about, about him detecting you. If you stand right in front of him, you guys see that arrow that pops up? And if we laugh, right here, did he notice me? Yeah, he noticed me. Okay, now he's sitting back down. And now no more arrow in front of him. Okay, cool. So let me just get this guy then. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'll get glasses guy. And right in front of Senpai. And ba blam mm. What the hell? Let me get this girl. And then we're going to stand behind Kaharu. I'm going to end the life. Well, actually, let me giggle again. Okay, he noticed me again. Staring at this thick all ass. Went in front of him again. And he still doesn't detect me. Okay. So I'm going to stand behind Kaharu. Maybe it works over here. So let me end this life. Mm. And it didn't work again. Evil girl likes it though. Because she's so freaking evil. So I actually don't think this is going to work. Because I'm standing directly in front of him. Boom. And I still get a game over screen. And the evil girl still likes it. Okay, so I clearly can't kill anyone in front of him without getting a game over. But do I even have to giggle behind Pigtails Chick? Or can I go behind any student? Let me go behind this group of fuckboys. Let me giggle right here. Wait, he didn't notice that? Giggle. Wait, why is he not noticing on this side? Is he deaf on his left ear? Oh, there he is. Okay. So he noticed me. Sat back down. Yeah, same thing. So I don't even need to stand near pigtail chick. What if I stand in front of this pigtail chick? Does he notice? No, he can't even hear me. Okay, so if you giggle behind the student and senpai notices, then you can go near him and he won't detect you anymore. You can stand right in front of him all day, every day, and he doesn't even care one bit. It doesn't need to be behind pigtails chick. You can stand behind turquoise-haired fuckboy, and it still works the same way. But you can't kill someone in front of him once this glitch is activated. So this myth is half true. On to the next one. I think I got one that may be fun. One, kill someone. Probably Midori. Two, get a teacher to chase you. Three, head to the headmaster's office. Four, get the teacher in there. Will the headmaster shock you in front of the teacher? I'm gonna say that the headmaster gives zero fucks and he'll shock you in front of anyone. He'll shock you in front of your parents. He'll shock you in front of his parents. He's gonna shock you regardless. But we're gonna try it out right now because I kind of want to get a teacher inside the headmaster's office. So I think we're gonna get evil chick because I pick on Midori too much. So I'm not gonna end her life with this time. So we're gonna get her to follow us. And then we're gonna get this started. Okay, this time my weapon of choice is gonna be a syringe. And I gotta say hi to my baby girl. Hey, baby girl. Alright, where's the furthest that I can stand while she still notices me? Is it right here? No? She can't see that far? Okay, she can see that far. Alright, let's go. She got those big old bug eyes. We got to get the fuck out of here, guys. Oh, fuck. She's gonna be fast as fuck, boy. We gotta be quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Headmaster's office is down this way. Where the hell's the teacher? Come on. Gym teacher? she here? Where'd she go? Oh my god! She scared the shit out of me! Oh! And if I'm just bloody, without the teacher even in the office, I get shocked? Okay, this time we're gonna summon Midori. And, uh, we'll take the katana for your mama. Slam! Damn, that's ruthless. And we're gonna clean our clothes, because we don't want him to notice all the blood on us. Blam. 
And hopefully when I pick up the body, I'm not all bloody. Please, 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 please. Don't stain my clothes, Midori. Thank you. Love you. Oh my god. There's still people there. There you go. Run! Could you? Run! Run your candy ass to the third floor. Holy Stop shit. Right oh. now. She's gonna be fast, huh? Well, I don't see her. I think we're Gucci. Yeah, we're pretty much Gucci, guys. So we don't have to stay in clothes, so he's not gonna shock me right away. Gonna head into the headmaster's office. She's not here yet. We're just gonna chill in here until she gets here. You asked Wait, for what? It. He's still shocking me without the teacher in there. Okay, this time I'm gonna wait until the last second while the teacher's in the same hallway as me. Then I'll head into the headmaster's office and then we can answer this question, which I'm pretty sure he will shock you if the teacher's there regardless. So we're gonna go downstairs. And yes, I am Yandere Kun because Yandere Kun's awesome as fuck. So let's show her this. And run, Yandere Kun, run! I like his running animation too. He's like, come on, teacher. Come on, teach. All right, one, two, three. Go! You yes! You see her? She's holding her hips. She's right outside the door. He shocked me in front of her. He gives zero fucks. Hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. Mystery Tape 2 involves the headmaster in it. And if you kill all the teachers, then the headmaster will walk around discovering the corpses. Okay, two things before I start this one. One, I have no idea where Mystery Tape 2 is, so I'm gonna have to look for that bitch. And two, the second part of your myth kind of smells like... Bullshit. But regardless, we are gonna check both out right now. I just need to go around the school and I need to find mystery tape two. So let's do it. Okay, we picked up this mystery tape. This is mystery tape three. Okay, so that's not it. All right, please be it. Mystery tape four. Fuck my uncle. And to my real life uncle who's watching this, I hope nobody actually takes that request seriously, please. I predict that this one's gonna be it. It's gotta be it. It smells like a mystery tape number two. Nope. It's a mystery tape number five. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Mystery tape two, I choose you. This has gotta be it. Mystery tape two. There you go. It's in the top right corner of the school, if anybody's wondering. So let's listen to this, and let's see what we can pick up about the headmaster. The school's faculty didn't let me conduct an investigation on school grounds. They were highly concerned with maintaining their prestigious reputation. They didn't want any police or journalists snooping around and ruining the school's image any more than the murder already had. Hmm. Or maybe they just had something to hide and didn't want the authorities to find out. To this day, I still don't know how the school managed to convince the police that any crime that takes place on school grounds can only be investigated for six hours maximum. What? I heard a rumor that the school's headmaster bribes the police department to expedite their investigations as much as possible. There were a lot of unsavory rumors about the school's headmaster, but none of them proven to be true. Interesting. Because I couldn't work around the school, I used to gather information by interviewing students outside of the school gate when they entered or left the school. It was at this point in time that I noticed a peculiar girl who was quite obviously stalking one of her seniors. I decided to keep my eye on her, and before long, I began to observe some disturbing behavior from her. Okay... So, there was like a specific part about the headmaster. I'm gonna listen to it again, and I'm gonna tell you guys what my opinion on it is. Okay, so here's the part about the headmaster. I heard a rumor that the school's headmaster bribes the police department to expedite their investigation as much as possible. And the next part says, there are a lot of unsavory rumors about the school's headmaster, but none have proven to be true. So according to the tape, there's rumors about the headmaster bribing police officers to be quick in their investigation, likely to keep attention off the school since the school has such a high reputation but it was also said that none of the rumors have proven to be true but we know that he at you least made one point. deal with mr psycho so if he's making deals with one person he's probably making deals with the officers as well and in my opinion i think he does have something to hide and thinks the police might discover it as they're investigating the murder let me know what you guys think about that in the comments the second part of the myth is telling me that if i kill all the teachers then the headmaster will walk around and discover the corpses okay Okay, we could do that. Let's go for this road, teachers like a conga line, and blam! Okay, there's three teachers, one of them squirming like a little worm, and the Younger next set of teachers, blam! One more teacher to go. Wait, what? How did she survive that? You're Younger a freaking eight. beast! Punch. Not for long, though. Okay, so we got all the teachers in the office. Now we just gotta go for the gym teacher, and then we're gonna wait outside the headmaster's office and see if he actually walks around the school discovering the corpse. Boom! Punch. Okay, she's right there. Where is she? Okay, she's still on school grounds. 
Let me go up to the headmaster's office and we're just gonna chill there and see if he gets up. So I'm actually just gonna chill right outside his office. I'm gonna fast forward time till the end of the day and let's see what happens. Okay, so now it's 8.30, it's class time. All the teachers should be inside their classrooms. He's still not getting up. He's still not walking around. He's doing his little laptop touch eyeglass thing. I don't think he's gonna get up, but you never know. Now it's lunchtime, and he's still chilling in his office. I can't believe I'm actually fast forwarding time when I told you guys that I smell something. And I still smell it. It smells like, it smells like shit from a bull. Okay, so we're actually about to end the day and the teacher still hasn't moved, but it says the police arrive at school. The police discover the corpses of all those teachers. Okay guys, but I think that tells us everything that we need to know. The first part of the myth said that Mystery Tape 2 had some stuff about the headmaster that is true. But the second part where you eliminate all the teachers and the headmaster is gonna investigate is a bunch of bull bull that is officially debunked. On to the next one. Jay, you can set a trap on top of the headmaster's door. Hmm. Also, the headmaster doesn't react to Kokona being killed only other students for some odd reason. Okay, so I actually knew about the trap on top of the headmaster's door because when I did that one glitch where I trapped Kokona inside of the greenhouse like a lab rat, I also tried it with the headmaster, but she got out of that office pretty quick, so I already knew about that one. But what I didn't know is that the headmaster doesn't react to you ending Kokona's life so that's pretty weird. So we got Kokona following me right here, got my knife in my hand, got the headmaster right here, and the headmaster does react to you having weapons inside of his office, so we're gonna have to do this right here. Blam! Let me actually clean up real quick so we know it's not because of the blood on my clothes if he does find me out. Okay, so my clothes are clean, no knife in my inventory, picked up Kokona, and let's see if this works. It doesn't work. He still shocks me. Okay, so he walked in here. He still hasn't shocked me because I didn't kill anybody. If I take out my weapon, he's gonna shock me. Watch this, see? I tried taking out my knife, and before I even did, I was in that fighting stance, that Mortal Kombat Street Fighter stance, and then he shocked this ass. Okay, let's try it this way. Leave. Slash her with this. <laughs> she didn't even react to it. She's still looking at me. What in the world? There is nothing. Okay, and then uh, just throw the match on her. Out. And there you go. Technically, this myth is true because it said you can kill Kokona in front of the headmaster without him noticing. We basically just turned her into a crispy Kokoni fried chicken. No problem. He doesn't care. But there's no way we can end her life with like a regular weapon like a knife or a bat or a katana or anything like that. But technically, this myth is true. On to the next one. Try dragging the body to the headmaster. So this time we got Pigtail's chick. Blam. We already know for a fact that he notices the bloody clothes, so I'm gonna forgive my sins real quick. And then we'll try dragging the body. So let us have Pigtail girl take my hand, please. And let's back that ass up into the office. And he still noticed. Okay, so that was an easy one to debunk. A lot of people seem to think that if you drag the body into the office, then he wouldn't notice it. Nope, he noticed that pretty damn good. That is officially debunked. On to the next one. Jay, I got one. One, go to the headmaster. Two, put the camera in cinematic mode. Three, go to class. Four, will the headmaster still disappear? Okay, with this one, since I can't see myself going to class, I gotta practice real quick. So let's teleport to class, and then I'm automatically standing on the side of it. So what do I press? I sidestep a little bit, and then I press E. Okay, I got it. All right, so here we go. Put it in cinematic. Teleport. What is that? We got that exorcist headmaster. I don't even know if I'm in class or not. There you go. Okay, so he is gone. So I went to class, I put it in cinematic, and he just disappeared. Hopefully that answers your question. On to the last myth of today's episode. Will the headmaster still shock you if you're holding a body part? I'm pretty sure he would, but we got Midori's head right here. We're gonna forgive our sins so we can clean up our uniform. Teleport to the roof. And everybody place your bets in the comments down below. Is he gonna notice this? Is he not? Does he not care if you're holding a head? I'm pretty sure he will be. But here we go. Step in there. <gasps> and he it's, didn't notice. It's you. He doesn't no care. Another step. What the fuck? I really thought that he would care. I thought that he would notice because other people notice when you're holding a body you're part now, no good. but he doesn't notice. I'm, I'm holding this head and he ain't doing diddly shit about me. it. Okay, so he doesn't notice the head. Let me see if he notices any other body part. How about a torso, Monsieur Headmaster? Nope. He doesn't notice that either. Okay. How about an arm? Nope. How about a leg? Nope. Okay, so we got a head, torso, arm, and a leg. We basically have the whole Midori starter kit, and he didn't notice shit. I'm picking up every single body part. 
and he doesn't give two candy fucks. So to answer the question, if you bring a body part to the headmaster, he's not gonna react whatsoever. He's just gonna react how he normally acts when you're in the office. But with that said, that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, dude!